Good day everyone! This is a short quiz to assess your knowledge in units and measurements. Research indicates that testing is a successful method for improving the long-term retention of learned information and for aiding in the mastery of new material. So are you ready? Question number one. Which is the unit of, of electric current? Letter A, volt. Letter B, coulomb. Letter C, ampere. Letter D, watt. Okay, question number two. What is the SI unit of power? Letter A, Newton. Letter B, Newton second. Letter C, watt. Letter D, joule. Okay, let's proceed with question number three. Which is the unit of luminous intensity? Letter A, foot candle. Letter B, candela. Letter C, lumen. Letter D, lux. Okay, question number four. What is the SI unit of pressure? Letter A, newton meter. Letter B, Newton per meter, letter C, Pascal, letter D, Coulomb. Okay, last question for part one. So this is the question for question number five. What is the unit of capacitance? Letter A, Farad, letter B, Weber, letter C, Coulomb, letter D, Pascal. Okay, so here are the answers. Kindly check your papers. Number one, letter C, ampere. Number two, letter C, watt. Number three, letter B, candela. Number four, letter C, pascal. And number five, letter A, farad. Okay, so here's the bonus information because you were able to finish the part one of this quiz. Okay, so this is the unit for force, mass, and acceleration. If you would notice, it is subdivided into three uh, systems. We have the SI systems, the CGS systems, and the British system. So let's say, for example, force, the SI system is Newton, while for CGS, it is Dyne, and then for British, force is measured in pound. Okay, let us now proceed with part two. Question number one. What, one horsepower is equivalent to how many watts? Letter A, 550. Letter B, 746. Letter C, 3,000. Letter D, 33,000. Okay, question number two. What is the equivalent unit of what? Letter A, Newton second. Letter B, Newton meter. Letter C, Newton meter per second. Letter D, Newton meter per second squared. Question number three. How many dynes are there in one Newton? So letter A, 1,000, letter B, 10,000, letter C, 100,000, and letter D, 1 million. Question number four. What refers to the mass which is accelerated at the rate of one foot per second when acted on by a force of one pound? Letter A, slug. Letter B, dine. Letter C, erg. Letter D, quartz. Okay, last question for part two. How is sound intensity measured? Letter A, in beats. Letter B, in zones. Letter C, in bones. Letter D, in decibels. Okay, 
Kindly check your answers. Number one, letter B, 746. Number two, letter C, Newton meter per second. Number three, letter C, 100,000. And then number four, letter A, slug. And letter D, for number five, it is letter D, in decibel. Okay, again, here is your bonus information. So we have seven fundamental quantities. We have mass, length, time, temperature, electric current, amount of substance, and luminous intensity. Okay. For example, you have the length. The base unit for that is meter. And the letter symbol is small letter M. Okay. How about temperature? For temperature, the base unit is Kelvin. And the letter symbol is big letter K. And the last example, amount of substance. Base unit is mole. And in symbol, it is written by three letters, M-O-L. Okay, let us now proceed with the last part, which is part three. Question number one. All of the following are derived quantities except. Letter A, force. Letter B, pressure. Letter C, electric current. Letter D, work. Okay, question number two. Among the given units, which unit is the smallest? Letter A, millimeter. Letter B, nanometer. Letter C, megameter. Letter D, picometer. Question number three, which is not a fundamental unit? Letter A, what? Letter B, kilogram. Letter C, meter. Letter D, second. Question number four, ohm is equivalent to which of the following? Letter A, coulomb per, per ampere. Letter B, volt per ampere. Volt per ampere for letter C and letter D, watt per ampere. Okay, question number five. Last question. What is the SI unit of temperature? Letter A, Celsius. Letter B, Kelvin. Letter C, Fahrenheit. Letter D, Rank. Okay, so here are the answers for part three. Number one, letter C, electric current. Letter Number two, letter D, PM or picometer. Number three, letter A, watt. And uh, number four, letter B, volt per ampere. And then uh, number five, letter B, Kelvin. Okay. Uh, last bonus information for this quiz. Okay. So here are the prefixes and the corresponding power of then let's say for example, ato, the letter symbol is small letter A and the power of 10 is 10 raised to negative 18. So micro, we use the Greek symbol, okay? And then uh, power of 10, 10 raised to negative 6. Okay, then now how about giga? For giga, Letter symbols, big letter G, and this is 10 raised to 9. If you would notice, uh, except for kilo, all the letter symbol for positive exponent of power of 10 are all big letters. Okay, review time. So let us review all the questions and answers for unit and measurement.
Okay, thank you so much and I hope you learned something new today. So don't forget, please subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.